Good morning dudes, how is it going? Today we're playing Wind Ranger, we're going into the mid lane, this was Random Draft and we got Wind Ranger because Metal Slug really wanted to play Alchemist and that's a really nice combo and I wanted to try Desolator on her because why the hell not? And I wanted to play a hero that I like because today is a good day. Why is today a good day? Because I got accepted into uni, yeah. No seriously, I did, I got the email last night. Didn't see it until like an hour ago, but I got accepted and uh, I <laughs> gotta admit I didn't really believe in it. I don't know, like after like two years of constant rejections, you kind of get to the point where it's like, ah, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> but it did. Now the thing is I sent out two applications for computer science at two different universities. Uh, this is not the one I really like dreamed of, if that makes any sense. Because this one, and I, I kid you not, this is why not. Because this one is like literally five minutes further away than the other one. That is my problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I don't. I really don't care. This just. It's just. I'm just happy that I got accepted at all. Uh, this, by the way, right here did not work out whatsoever. But oh well. Oh freaking no! Yeah, they really did not want to get uh, the that that rune on the. On the alchemists. That's something they were trying to avoid. But hey. Anyway. But still, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Of course, like, uni is like a really... Like, it's something I've wanted for uh, quite a while now. It just never really worked out. Like, I, I kind of, like, got in last year, I guess. But not really. Because, like, the course I got into didn't have any restrictions. Anybody, it wasn't a course that you needed to apply for, it's a course that you just signed up for, right? And I didn't like it at all, I just signed up for it because every other one rejected me. Right, that's, that's literally it. And uh, this time around I did actually get into one that I that I want to do. Got a bit, bit more math in it than I would like, but I don't... Look, the thing is, I'm not bad at math, I just don't like it, if that makes any sense. So that should be fine, but God, this is gonna be... I'm really looking forward to it. Maybe if I get really lucky, uh, the Yabo University, the one I was actually kind of like really hoping for that would let me in, accepts me as well. But in the end, that doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. It, it just, it's the same, same thing. It uh, honestly, like the minor differences. And um, I guess like the biggest argument is that uh, at the other one, I would actually have, um, I would actually share a class with, with an old friend of mine, with a very, like, very long time, very good friend of mine. And I would really enjoy that. I think that would be great. At the same time, at the other one, I would share the campus, right? Like, another friend of mine goes to the other university. So, it, it just doesn't really matter, right? I, frankly, I don't, I'm, look, this sounds like I'm complaining about, oh my god, no, no, no. I'm just, like, I just want to talk, right? Um, but, yeah, I'm just really happy that that ended up working out. And uh, I am really looking forward to it. I really am. Like, this is going to be great. It's starting in October. Starting in October. And then I'll learn to program. And shit like that. And Chris will be, like, all over my face, I assume. Constantly shouting at me how about, like, how certain things work. And I'll be shouting at him because, like, that is really weird, weird and cool. And, well, <laughs> and I don't even know what I'm talking about, but whatever. So yeah, so yeah, but that's basically that, and uh, I don't know, I'm just so happy about it, it's so cool man, it's so cool, because like, there's so much that comes along with that, right, and I, oh, we gotta be careful here, but we are fine, maybe we can even get the bottom rune, no, would have surprised me, okay, let me get that career back, I'll, I'll just bottle crew right away. No! Okay, there we go. Ah, let's rock, let's rock, let's rock. Annoying, annoying fella. But it's okay. Oh, we can... Like, the, the thing is, we're not here to win the lane because you don't win a lane against a rock. We're here to survive and farm up, and... Frankly, there was no other hero in the pool that could really do anything against a rock, right? I, I could maybe have seen me play the Alchemist in the mid lane, just because I'm really confident in my Alchemist mid, but... Frankly, I don't think that I, that would mean I could 
take win the lane. <laughs> it's just the Shrug is the best mid here on the game. Can't really do much about him. Um, what did he get? Bounty, okay. Nothing scary, nothing serious. We're gonna be fine. Bam! Freaking dust deck. Ah, yeah! Sweet. Let me go ahead and get these. Oh, wow, that guy's good at hitting those. I don't know, he, he's just hitting the, the straight... I guess the thing is, I don't have boots yet. That makes it possible, yeah, right. Now, the thing is that the university that, that accepted me, I... So, basically, the thing is, I kind of applied on, um... Like, uh... On, like, literally the day beforehand. Right, to that one. Because, like, my mother was like, did you apply to that one? I'm like, I didn't even know there was one. So, I'm like, okay, you know what, that's fine. So I just, so I, I, what I did, I actually um, literally just hand delivered the application, right? Because I didn't want to like, like sometimes things get lost in the mail, right? And by that I don't mean that they never pop up, but sometimes they pop up a little late, right? Like you're like, ah, this is supposed to arrive tomorrow. I would like it to really be there by tomorrow. It absolutely has to be there by tomorrow and it just isn't. That's something that can happen. And that's not something I wanted to risk because it needed to be there by tomorrow. So instead, I decided to just go there. I was just like, this is not too far away. I can simply just fucking do this. Right? I just, I'll just walk there. <laughs> or not walk there, but, you know, take the train and all. The subway, actually. And, uh, yeah, so I did that. And it's actually, like, really beautiful. It's got this, it's, it's really old, which is odd in the city that I live in. Because the city that I live in, I think, is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. But that's just because it's very specific to my taste. Uh, the, the thing is, um, it's Stuttgart, right? And, and the thing about this is it got demolished in World War II. Like, just absolutely destroyed. Except for a few pieces. And the interesting part about that, though, is that because it got destroyed afterwards, uh, you know, like there was just a lot of like Germany just wasn't at a good point. Right. So there wasn't like any planning that went into building the city up again. Instead, they just literally did it however the hell they felt like it. And as a result, it's it's a giant mess. Right. Like you have old ancient churches next to like the most modern buildings you could imagine next to something built in the 50s next to next to something built in the 70s and it's just like all clumped together and it makes no sense and it's it's fantastic i really really love it i think it's it's beautiful other people don't like it as much right but it's just i, I do and uh this is one of those like rather old buildings around here the truck is going top the truck is going top the truck is going top uh so yeah, and, and it's beautiful. It's right in the heart of the city, which is neat as well. And as I already mentioned, like, one of my friends also goes to that. Uh, he doesn't study computer science and stuff. Um, the guy, like, I do have a friend that also just straight up takes the same course I'm gonna take. Except at the other university that I also applied for. Um, so, I don't know, whatever. I'm just, like, rambling about nonsense, I know. But I'm just excited now. I'm just happy about this. This is cool. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, I'm dead. Probably. Oh, thank you. This is nice. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that guy totally just saved me. Sweet. Thank you, Pooh. That, that was actually great. I mean, with, without that disruptor, I don't get out of there. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is also why we don't give up. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, a shark is hasted. That should be a kill for him. Yeah, he's, he's gonna haste up. He's hasted. Please don't underestimate his power. <laughs> okay. So let me go ahead and shoot this yellow. That's the Wraith King. Okay, I guess it's not. I suppose it's not. Oh, there he goes again. Really now? Oh, that, that guy is really good at hitting those. I don't even know what else to say about that. God, Pooh, I love you so much. Can I marry you? 
just just for your like Dota skills. Like when people ask us how we met each other, I'll be like, "Poo saved me in a game one." I'm not. I don't know. I think that sounds like a great idea. Okay, let me get out of here. Let me go back and heal up. <clears throat> uh, I'll grab myself a magic wand. I think it's going to be very good this game. Going up against Bristleback. You know, and they just have a lot of spells in general. So. Yeah. And we have Alchemist, and he's going to give me an Aghanim, so I don't need to do that myself. And I'll just I'll just get uh, this, this, this fella. This one. Yup. <laughs> Let's go party. Let's go fucking party. Okay, let me shoot somebody. Oh, missed him. But I think I'm actually doing really well here. Uh, this is this is working out great. I I am keeping up, and that's really all you can ask for while going up against a shark. I haven't died yet. My farm is very solid. It's not amazing or anything like that, but it is definitely nothing to complain about either. And uh, you know, it's fine. And the shark is going top again. Let me check what's bottom. Double damage. Oh, we can definitely make something happen with that. On it. Oh, yeah. Saved for a rainy day. That, sounds, that sounds pretty good. I'm not sure. Sven is kind of beefy. Okay. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <On my way. laughs> yeah, buddy. That's... Sadly, not going to happen. But while I'm here, let me let me take this really quick. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get back into the mid lane. I'm I'm maxing the wind run here because they have a lot that I want to dodge in terms of. Um, I don't know. I just feel like going defensive against the team is more valuable than offensive. Because, I don't know. I just don't... I, I just feel like we, we got to be a bit more defensive here. Like, I'll likely grab myself a big gibby as well. Um, yeah. But but that's basically done. Anyway. Anyway. I want to know what's going on. Not much. Not much. Uh, actually, a medal came over today. Wanted to play some Smash. Played Melee. God, that game is so good. Did they ever tell you how good that game is? I don't think I've mentioned that yet. I don't feel like I've ever told you that that is a good video game. <laughs> that video game is, is pretty good. Pretty good video game. <laughs> oh, man. No, stop it. Stop, stop it. No, no, I'm not getting into range for any of this. Fuck all of that. Let's take bottom rune again. Um, but, but, and we're just gonna keep going like this is oh nice I actually totally want that um let's go top let's go top because of these got him oh that was too long that's fine I'll just oh my god sit down okay 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 position yourself for a bigger shadow shackle Got him. Shoot this guy. Got him. Double kill. Boom, baby! Boom, baby. That's how we do it. And uh, this is, by the way, my magic wand. I mean, I didn't get targeted at all. But if I would have gotten targeted, then I would be fine now. So. Yeah. But uh, I, I guess I'll tell this story now. This is actually what I originally wanted to talk about. I always have something prepared, right? Like, I don't know. I just, like, I think a big part of my my videos and my channel is is me, right? Like, usually a lot of the people that create Dota videos, they are just, like, all about Dota. But I don't know. I think that's kind of boring. It's just not for me, man. It's just not for me. Like, you know what my channel is about? It's kind of about me. <laughs> It's by me and it's for me. Can you please stop? I'll hit you really hard because I'm scary. Respect me. Ah. So uh, yeah, but uh, so I okay. I recently went to the vet with the card, right? And 
the vet was like, all the cat is fine, like everything, everything is fine, right? It's just like the, the eyes are a little like red, reddened at, at, at like uh, certain points. It's nothing bad, nothing that's like an issue, right? But we don't want it to let, let it turn into an issue. So just as a like precaution, here you go, have some like eye drops, you gotta give them down. And kind of to make that easier on both him and me, I got him some treats, right? So whenever I give him those like eye drops, he, he gets a treat. Now, j since uh, I apparently completely and utterly underestimated my cat, I decided to, after I gave him one of those treats, after I gave him the eye drops, to just kind of leave the package, uh, the packaging for it, just kind of like on um, on the desk in in the living room. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Now, let me tell you why. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Okay, we we got the shackle here. Should be a kill, right? Yeah. Yo, what's up? God, I love my magic wand. I got him slowed. God glimpsed. <laughs> God glimpsed. In the night range. No, two damage. Shit. Really? But yeah, uh, I let them on the on the desk in the living room, which, as you guys know, is like kind of like couch height height. So it's like totally in reach for him. Right? And he, I'm fine with him climbing up and down the desk. Like I know I really don't care. But uh, the thing is that it's it's kind of uh, I guess I can show you. It looks like this. Right? I got it right here, and it's got like a little, it's a little packaging, right? So it's like, got a lid. Doesn't open. Nothing can come out of it, right? So I. I should really get my desolator. But I let just let it sit on a desk. And then the next day, I kind of want to give him give him his treat again. And I didn't notice the thing was missing from the desk. I'm like, wait, where did I put it? I thought I had it on the desk, right? I thought that's where I put it. Hmm, that's interesting. So I go searching. I can't find it. It just went missing. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> I am fairly confident I put it on the desk. But apparently I didn't. Yo, get shit on! <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, no, I I know that I put this on the desk. Like, where the hell is it? So I, I look, look, I can't find it. After a little while, I give up and uh, I just got the other one, right? I just got the uh, second one I had because I couldn't find the other one, right? So I, I thought I just, like, misplaced it and I couldn't remember where I put it. Though that, I gotta admit, like, I, I didn't really believe in it because I'm usually not somebody that misplaces things, right? That's just not me. I I got a pretty good memory and I usually keep all of that in mind, like, no problem. So I'm just like, wait, this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem like me at all. Well, maybe I'm just growing old. <laughs> right? Um, shoot him. There we go with the resurrection. The Shrek is coming in, which is what I'm a, a little bit worried about. Okay, the glimpse back. I am definitely dead. Yes. Okay. But, you know, I was just, I was a little, I was just like, okay, I can't find it. So, a few days pass, and uh, I am looking for his uh, favorite toy. Like, he has a toy that he really, really likes. He keeps like dragging it around and wants me like to use it to play with him and um, I couldn't find it so I kind of just looked around and at first I looked under the couch in the living room because like that's kind of his big hiding spot right like the couch is where he likes to be he likes to be hide under the couch he likes to climb up the couch like from the back which is really cute by the way there's like a little space like from the back of the couch and the wall Right, and he just keeps climbing up there, and there's always it's like a little shark attacking you, like a cat shark. But like, I don't mind that, by the way, because by the time he's big enough to actually like damage the couch by doing that, he won't be able to do it anymore because then he won't fit. <laughs> so it's just like totally not a big deal because like he just can't do anything that, that will ever hurt the couch or like like be a problem. It's just not a possibility. Okay, we got him. We got him. Gotcha. 
Oh, we got him, right? Oh, we got Aghanims! Where, where did he where did he go? Got him. Oh, I got an Aghanims! Thank you! <laughs> the other lost sweet! <laughs> Let me go ahead and kill Roshan. Sweet, 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 sweet. No, that's really big actually, like, yeah, got Aghanims. But uh so I looked under that couch and I couldn't find it, right? So I go go look under the other couch, I go look around here, right? Because sometimes he crawls under this couch. But he doesn't really spend a lot of time in here, mostly because I don't let him, because he keeps chewing through the cables, right? I just can't let him spend a lot of time in here. I would like to, but it's just not an option, sadly. Oh no, this is really bad. Oh no! <laughs> okay, panic buyback, shit. Um, maybe not so, not so panic. I, I got him. God, this is stupid. Holy shit. Did we, did we kill Roshan yet? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that buyback was probably worth it. <laughs> that was definitely a panic buyback, but... Def no, 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 that was worth it. That, that definitely worked out for us. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. So I look, I look under this couch, and what do I find? I, I find? I find the treat, right? But the thing is, so you would think that, okay, so first of all, what happened here? He figured out that where the treats come from is this little box. Secondly, he decided the best way he gets to eat all of them is if he hides them where I won't look. Because this is the place where he isn't allowed to go. <laughs> right? So that's where he hides it. Third, you would think that he just breaks it open. Right? That he just like makes a hole somewhere in the box. No. He literally just chewed like... You see these like little, it's like a cat form, right? Like, but you see these ears? He chewed on one of those ears for as long as it took for the, for, the, for the lid to open. And then he just kept them in the box and ate them out of the box. I am scared now. This cat is very smart. <laughs> At least if it comes to food. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no, actually, the, the thingy ran out. This is fine. Hello. Got him shackled. Got him killed. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello. That is crazy. That is insane. Holy fuck. Wow. This damage. That, that is actually just stupid. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, like, I know that took it a little longer than I should have, like, the whole little story, but. Um, point being. I think we got a really smart cat on our, cat on our hands, right? Because he went out of his way to like properly open the treats. He went out of his way to hide them where I won't find them, because uh, it's just too much, right? Like in one of those little boxes, this, this is supposed to last a little while, especially since he's so little. Like it's gonna take a long time for him to like eat all of them. And when I found it, he actually hadn't eaten them all. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, if, or maybe I'm just like, I'm like, sp sp like thinking too much into it. Maybe that's just not what happened at all. Maybe he just like felt like this was a cute place to hide it in. But the thing is, he didn't have, like there's nothing else under the couch, right? That was the only thing he hid under the couch. Everything else he hides under the other one. 
And that can't possibly be a coincidence now, can it? No, I don't believe that. I just, I'm sorry. No way. There's no way that is a coincidence. So, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. This is a pretty strong build. I like it a lot. The Desolator is crazy. Maybe, maybe like, Aghanim's Desolator might be stronger than Aghanim's crits. But, of course, like, it's just Alchemist. Like, all Alchemist needs to do is run in and, like, like buy me an Aghanim's and then we kind of win the game. Like, this strategy is still really powerful. Though I believe that the way to play Alchemist in that situation is to play support Alchemist, but... Whatever. Whatever. So, yeah, we're also level 16 now, which means that our ultimate is even nastier. Ah, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Did they actually give up? No, they didn't. No, I don't know. I don't like people that do that. Let's just come on, play it out. Wait, yeah, you're gonna lose, maybe, probably. But you know what? Like, currently, it's a, yeah, you will likely lose. But you know how you make a, yes, you lost out of that? That's if you, if you give up. That's what happens. If you just give up, then you lost. <laughs> if you keep playing, well, then you're far behind, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything. We have seen bigger comebacks at the International. One team, IG, made a 25,000 gold comeback against Team Secret. Think about that. And you're crying about being behind a bit on the kill score. Yeah, explain that to me. I don't know. Hello. Please refrain from this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I have my null talisman. <laughs> that's kind of adorable. I know, that's like one of those tiny things that support does. It's just like, here, I brought this for you again. It's just like, oh, that's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> That is really nice of you. Like, it doesn't actually do anything, but I appreciate it. I'll just hit him, I guess. Goodbye. You are dead now. Holy shit. I'll have to... God damn it. Okay, we won. That's fine, guys. I don't care. I really don't. I just, I'm okay with a short one today because it's just like, whatever. Oh man, I'm just having a good day. And this was a fun game. I mean, yeah. You guys don't even know how many games I just stopped recording because of shit like this. And it's just like, come on. And this, by the way, I don't understand. The game is basically over anyway. Why even rage quit? Right, like what's the point of that? Yeah, whatever. Ward ever. I don't really care. So yeah, turns out Desolator is a pretty good item. <laughs> pretty decent. Pretty decent. Can do a lot of damage. Also, I think that having Ancient Apparition with Wind Ranger might be pretty good as well. And of course, Alchemist. Oh my god. That's just mean now. That's just mean. Okay, we got day the losses. I'll just go ahead and finish this up though. Boom, that's how we do it. Okay, I know the game wasn't great, but I don't care today. Because today was great. <laughs> So yeah, that should do it. Oh, look at that. Give us God. That hero gets so much money. It's actually insane. It's so dumb. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, allow me to go ahead and do the giveaway. And then that's going to do it for today. So. Today's winner would be... Would be... Um, Mahidin Majin, I think. 
Mahideen Majin, what do you win? 256. Do I have 256? I think so. Yes, probably. 240, 252, 256. Right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so it's this courier. It's legendary, I believe. Yeah. So if you want that, feel free to send me a message and I'm going to give it to you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I'll get you a decent game tomorrow. But, you know, today I don't really care that much. So, yeah. See you around.